Hi, Run Your Story family. This is Allison Gilliard with Run Your Story, where every story needs to be heard. And it's about time that I had the Brittany Pastor on, who is a fellow Fresh Junkie ambassador. And I have become such a fan of hers. She is such an encouraging spirit. You guys are going to love her, her story, her heart for the running community. And also, uh, we love Helen. So you guys are going to find out who Helen is in this podcast. And I am now a fangirl on Helen. Just absolutely love her too. What Brittany has done is phenomenal. And as we talk about, she believes that every runner, walker, anybody that wants to move has a place in the running community. And I 100% agree with this. And so thank you, Brittany, for sharing your story, for sharing your heart and what you're doing in your community. You created a beautiful family and a beautiful community. And that's just absolutely incredible. So thank you, my incredible friend, Brittany, for sitting down and sharing your run story. And guys, it is so much fun. Brittany is such a great individual and absolutely a huge super fan of hers. So keep doing what you're doing, Brittany. And you are my favorite Wednesday night run club in Louisiana. You are just so cool. For those that don't know, there's a backstory there and she's probably giggling as she's hearing this because there's another run club that also meets. <laughs> it's so trying to give her a little, a little edge here. So there you go, Brittany. Love you and I appreciate you. And again, huge shout out to Fresh Junkie for bringing us together through the ambassador program. And I am so so incredibly grateful for that and what it means to be a Fresh Junkie ambassador. So thank you, Brittany, for sharing your heart and what you're doing in the running community. Keep it going, my friend. Absolutely incredible. And can't wait for more adventures. Speaking of adventures, guys, there are some incredible races coming out for Fresh Junkie Racing, who is powering up our podcast this month. Woo, so good. I mean, we just finished Battleship 12K, my favorite race. Absolutely love that. And guys, I will be posting when to sign up for that for next year because it is the go-to race in our area. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's 10 out of 10 recommend. If I could put more stars, I would because it's that good. But if you missed that, there is Mississippi Gulf Coast, guys. There is Louisiana coming up. There is the Mom Bonnie Girl Mamba coming up. Guys, it's going to be so much fun. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a little secret in. Be paying attention to the Fresh Junkie page with racing because they're about to have a little secret come out. Um, and I am not going to have any spoilers. Okay, Mike, I'm not going to say anything. But I am so excited about this and so excited about Fresh Junkie and the new run that's going to happen. So follow Fresh Junkie Racing. Guys, they do so much for the community, not only in the economy side, but also they donate proceeds of races. They do all that they can. They are always working hard. They are just a phenomenal group of human beings that love runners and want to help make a difference. And they can't do it all, okay? But what they do, they do well. And they're trying. They're always trying to make it better. They're trying to listen to the running community. And they take everything into consideration. But... We also live in the real world, so not everything can be perfect. And so I appreciate what Fresh Junkie does with what they can do. And so thank you for that, Fresh Junkie. Thank you for believing in the running community. Thank you for believing in your runner story. Guys, definitely go check them out. Over 20 races. They're about to have another one. So again, go follow them on social media. It's going to be a huge announcement coming up. And you're definitely going to want to fill it in. We'll obviously be sharing as well on the runner story page. But definitely check out Fresh Junkie Racing. You can also find their website on the Runner Story page. It is right there that you can find it. And again, we are so grateful for the partnership that we have with Fresh Junkie Racing. They are absolutely amazing. So huge shout out, huge congratulations for Battleship 12K and the Fresh Junkie crew. You guys keep going, keep doing what you're doing. You guys are amazing. So definitely appreciate you guys and love you so much. All right, guys, the lace up those running shoes or get on that bike, or however you listen to this podcast and move. And let's go run with my friend Brittany and her run story. Yay, Brittany! I was finally, finally um, almost coming up on a year that I've been trying to get you on this podcast. Yes. Yeah. And now we yeah. get random texts like, yes. hey, let's do this. 
and then here we are. Excuse me, Pat. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, will you be at this race? No. <laughs> will you be at that race? So, yes, we finally were able to. I love it because we connected so well at Louisiana. We were working the Fresh Junkie tent. Oh, yes. And you were telling me all about Ainsley's Angels. And it was just so much fun. And you were just such a – people can't help but love you, Brittany, because you were just such a fun human being. And it was just fun watching you in the element and how people were like, hey, Brittany, hey, Brittany. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it's fun. I know. I just try and make uh, a lot of genuine connections out there, especially in the race world. So. Mm, I love that. Yeah. And I'm so thankful to Fresh Junkie for putting us together yes. because we're Fresh Junkie sisters. Yes. So. <laughs> for life. And for life. Our bit. second season together. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah so. absolutely. In the wild. In the wild. Wild. Yes. <laughs> it is. I know. So I'm glad that we are here today. Absolutely. Thanks for doing this. I'm so excited because I don't know what your run story is. So how does it begin? Okay, so in 2010, I found out that I had Crohn's disease. So I was just really tired of feeling mm. sick all of the time. So I was like, I have to find something that I like to do. What is that? I don't really know what I like to do active-wise because I just wanted to get in shape and mm -hmm. take care of my body. So I was like, I think I'll just run, but I want to run for something or mm. have a purpose. But I really didn't know what that looked like. And I got in my car one day and I turned on the radio and it was like, have you ever wanted to run a marathon or a half marathon or something like that? Well, team and training can help you. Wow. But Teenia Lymphoma Society has this program in your area. And I called them. I'm like, hi, this is really weird. But I was just thinking, what can I do to help myself but also give back? And they were like, that's so crazy that you heard that. And that's how it worked out. But that is how I started running. And so the stitch with that is, is that they will teach you how to run, but you have to fundraise for mm -hmm. the leukemia mm -hmm. and the society. That's what I did. And then from there, I think I originally signed up for a half. And by the end of it, I was doing a full. And then just kept running. <laughs> and then that's it. That's the end, I guess. The start and the end. It just, that is how it started. So that was a really fun, wild ride. And then I had two kids, so I took a little break. You know how that mm -hmm. goes. Mm -hmm. And then when I started getting back into it, I knew that I always wanted to create a run group of my own mm. because I did love the camaraderie that they had in the team and training program. So basically with the team and training, you also had a buddy or like a mentor. So you would run alongside people, motivate them. And I was always that person that if somebody needed to walk, I would walk or mm -hmm. go slow or whatever. So... I knew that one day I did want to start a run group. So I did. Wow. And I'm doing that now. <laughs> and simultaneously creating the run group, I also found Ainsley's Angels, mm. which kind of put me back into a uh, full circle of running with a purpose. Mm. Creating the run group was also my way of, I want to spread the love and joy of running mm. to everyone. Yeah. Even walkers. Because I hate that we say running or mm. run club. Because it's about just being active. And I think that running or walking as well brings together a certain community of people. Mm -hmm. Like they are there for themselves, but at the end of the day, they're also there for others. And it just makes my heart swell. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, we're doing this together. We're doing great things. It's like the run hub's like a secret. And also <laughs> such. Oh, you're doing a race too? Okay. I'm doing one too. Which one are you doing? And all of us are signing up. Mm. But that's how their attitudes are about everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need support? I'm there. Yeah. Where's your event? I'm there. Mm. And so running and walking or just the run club vibe is that. We all became a family and we all get excited and support each other in like multiple ways. I absolutely love that yeah. so much on several levels. One being that you ran for leukemia when Gray's sister passed away with leukemia. So thank you for doing that. Yes. No. I, I forgot to also mention with that, and I'm very sorry for your loss. That's so sad. But with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society and the team in training, we would do these events mm. at the children's hospital. Mm. I don't know if you... Yeah, so you know where? Yeah, so we would go. They were like, Brittany, can you face me? I'm like, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> these kids need a face painter. I am there. Mm. And so we would host these things, and you got to sit with the patients. Mm. So to me, I'm like, that is huge because you might give to a charity. And be like, okay, bye-bye, $50. Mm -hmm. And you don't question, but it is nice to see the impact of your fundraising efforts 
to sit with the patient. I remember I sat with this one little girl. She had leukemia, bald head, and she was just the most positive mm -hmm. child ever. I'm like, how are you so happy and positive? Mm -hmm. I'm over here complaining about whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah. And she is just not. Mm -hmm. She's just so happy. So that always came into my mind when I was running. I thought about her. So, yeah, that was really. I love that. Yeah. Oh. That was a great organization, but it's not around mm -hmm. anymore, luckily, mm -hmm. so. Well, thank you for doing that. So that's just so cool. That's what started you. And your group meets on Wednesday nights. Yes. Right? Yeah. And your favorite day is Wednesday. <laughs> With every new release of High Fan. Universe is a line. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. And it's it is cool. called Wednesday Run Club. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's fantastic. Yes. I, I know that it sounds, so Mike Watney and mm -hmm. I sat and brainstormed, like, what's the name? And I just, at the end of the day, we were like, Wednesday run call. We, then he made a trailhead logo, and the logo's on top of the words. Wow. So it's like we meet under the trailhead. Yeah. And it just, the logo and the words, it just says it all mm -hmm. right there. It's yeah. so simple that it was like Wednesday run club. Now, we do run on Saturdays as well. <laughs> we run races together. We do mm -hmm. fun events together. So it really is not restricted to Wednesday, but that is our day, and that's our favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's so fun. Mm -hmm. we have and it's fun. something to get you through that midweek where you're like, yes. I get to be with my people. I made it to Wednesday. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've had just so many people tell me Wednesday's my new favorite. Mm -hmm. my new. <laughs> and so day Wednesday now is, and again, for you too, probably just so special. Like yeah. Once it hits. Mm -hmm. It also makes me a little nervous every <laughs> Wednesday. Oh, I got to get ready for my run club. It's like my job or something. <laughs> it's not. It is very exciting, but I just get nervous. I want everyone to have a good time. And if I'm not mistaken, you have nicknamed your ice chest. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. We have an ice chest. Every Wednesday, I go out there and I put water and ice. Sometimes it's not ice. Sorry, runners. <laughs> I know y'all are spoiled. They're like, where's our ice? I'm like, wow. Okie okay, okay. Anyway, well, well, but they are spoiled. So I go before the run club and I put an ice chest on the corner. It's about a mile into the route. Mm -hmm. So I, I have pre-generated a few routes so that it's safe and mm -hmm. on the trace, out of the street, all that jazz. Mm -hmm. So Helen is her name and she sits on the corner. This, Helen sits on the corner. She sits on the corner and she's a sassy little ice chest. <laughs> And so really, truly, Helen is just a styrofoam white ice chest. So if you see a new Helen, because the old one was like, I don't know, stolen because it has happened. Oh. Then you're just like, oh, yeah, well, that's Helen. It, and she looks different, but it's just. She had a facelift. She had yeah, makeover. She attaches to whatever white styrofoam ice chest is out there. And she has water and mm. ice in there. She's very giving, it sounds like. Very giving, she sassy. Is. Yes. yes. Yes, she is. But yes, I have occasionally left her because, okay, by the time it's the time to go pick her up after Run Club, because after Run Club, we all go to dinner, too. Mm -hmm. Of course. What runner doesn't like to eat? All right. So we all, it's like a family-style dinner. We all mm -hmm. just go hang out. By the time I go get her, it is nighttime. And it's very dark on the way. I'm like, I'll get her tomorrow. <laughs> and so she's been stolen and brought back, like, beat up. And my like, oh, my God. Is she saw some bait. Shot like, what? Where? Okay. I don't ask questions, though. I just, I'm like, okay, Helen, you look like you're back, so you're safe. Let's go. She's like, but do you know what I went through? Yeah. You know, I don't actually, it looks violent, but then we mess with some, we just one member who was just like, you all are crazy. You talk to an ice chest. I cannot with you people. Like, he's just so frazzled by the fact that. But, like, he names his, he has a tricycle. Mm. And, and it has a name. I'm like, okay, but my Aisha, so Helen is a running, She oh, she has her own Facebook as well. <gasps> Get out of Dodge. She does. Okay, what's her Facebook? Help. <laughs> <laughs> It's not Helen the Ice Jazz, or no. it's just Helen. No, it's just Helen. Okay. Say, wait, this is also hilarious. Okay, that is really funny. Now that I'm saying it out loud, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I I commented on the Fresh Junkie job post, mm -hmm. and you said, I want to work at Fresh Junkie. I guess I was on Helen's page, <laughs> and I wrote, I want to work at Fresh Junkie. Nice, <laughs> but not this position. So I'm like, oh, and I go back, and I'm like, what? I was commenting as Helen. <laughs> I'm trying to manage a Facebook and Instagram, now a ice chest page, <laughs> which is super, absolutely insane. And I'm like, I want to work at Fresh Junkie. They're probably like, and Mike knows who Helen has tried to join the ice chest. What's that position here? <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, I have got to slow down. 
I think it's, I think you should now just put a, like hashtag Fresh Junkie Ambassador Honor or I work for Fresh Junkie. Yeah, like I work here apparently. <laughs> and I'm just, because I had gone back on my profile, oh. I guess. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Helen comment <laughs> over after it. That's me. That's me. <laughs> And so one of the other runners the other day was like, yeah, I thought it was strange. I'm like, Helen, she's like, you commented on one of my photos, like, beautiful family or something. I'm like, I'm on Helen again. How am I on Helen? So truly, I need assistance. <laughs> Listen, Helen wants her voice to be heard. Uh, yeah, she is getting burned. She is out there commenting. Liking thing. I expect Helen to comment on all of Runner Story stuff now. Okay. If I don't see a Helen post, I'm going to be devastated. Uh, yeah, she. I don't feel like I've made it. Yeah, she posts pictures. Oh, and then one last final thing about her is her birthday is the same day as the guy who hates her. <laughs> That's weird how that worked out, but yeah. <laughs> what a comedy <laughs> day. What? I, what? <laughs> no, again, we troll him with that. We're like, oh, it's Helen's birthday. He's like, it's my birthday. <laughs> Stop with the Helen stuff, but no, it's all. Did small. you get her a hat for her birthday? Yes. Okay. I guess um, you'll if you go to her face. I'm gonna do that after this. I'm gonna become a fan of Helen. <laughs> What's her face with name? Helen. I might get that. It's the like. Well, what, what else would it be? But uh, yeah, it's Helen. And so when I saw our other ambassador, her name's Helen. I'm like, I know another Helen. <laughs> She's not a person. She's square. Printing. <laughs> Focus back to earth that she is not real. She is real. She posts on social media. Yeah, I, know. I know. Through me, which I don't even notice I'm doing. So, yeah. Because Helen is speaking. She's yes. like, hear me. Uh, yes. This is what I want. I want to like this photo. Let me do it. I go tell this family I say it. They are. Hashtag go Helen. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, yes. You'll have to follow her. I'm going to oh follow Helen. Gosh. Helen, I'm your biggest fan now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to put her on the map. Yeah. She could have an interview. Absolutely. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> It would be an open and close. I mean, just, <laughs> you, you are funny. Open and close. Oh, gosh. That's so good. Oh, <laughs> man. You're hilarious. So, besides having Helen and yes. all the things, wow. what are some lessons that you've learned from running? Lessons I've learned from running. I mean, truly, I think it does make you a happier, healthier you. I go slow and I have fun mm. and it translates over to the rest of your life. You really don't have control over life, your life, <laughs> even your life to an extent. Yeah. The decisions you make, yeah. um, the choices you make, but just go slow, have fun. Mm. And I don't know, it's so liberating and just don't rush it or push mm. it. Just take it easy, enjoy. And again, I do put that into my, I guess, everyday life. Just enjoy the day, enjoy the run, even just like life. Some runs are really good. Mm -hmm. Some runs are really bad. Yeah. And you're just working through it, whether it's mentally just talking yourself off the ledge. I don't want to do this. I want to stop. I want to stop. Mm -hmm. Some days can be like that, too. Mm -hmm. So, man, anybody who knows me is like, Brittany, you're obsessed with running. It's, I am. But am I really obsessed with running, the physical act of mm -hmm. propelling my body forward? No, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But it is just greater than that. So, 100%. Yeah. I, I love that. Yeah. I know we talked about that mm -hmm. when we first met. You were like, I just have this connection with running that's just so deeper. And yeah, so. absolutely. What has been your favorite thing about being a Fresh Junkie ambassador? Oh, there's a lot of things. Maybe <laughs> meeting all of you guys. Mm -hmm. And I like how we're all spread out. Yeah. Like you're in a different area. Mm -hmm. I'm in a different area, but we're still doing the same thing. Yeah. I feel like I have hit the jackpot because I get to do what I love mm -hmm. for free. Yeah. <laughs> Cover your race fees. Yeah. Sorry if I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> I allowed, I don't think it's a secret, but you're paying $50 here, $100 here, yeah. and I will mm -hmm. because I love to go yeah. to races. Races mm -hmm. are the best. That's your reward. Mm -hmm. And that's where thousands of other runners are. And you just get to look around, just be excited. Mm -hmm. I get to do that for free. Yeah. To represent a company that I love mm -hmm. because I've been running Fresh Junkie races. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, now I get to go through races that I love to run and represent for them. And do it without having to worry. Yeah. That's the, mm -hmm. I guess, the best part, too. But not having to worry about paying for all your fees. And just the swag. Hello. Girl. Oh, sweatshirt. Dripping. I know. Oh my gosh. I lost it. I had to. Oh, man. The text <laughs> might. I will pay you everything. Please give me another one. But, yeah, just truly, again, it goes down to 
the connection and the community that running, I guess, breeds is that mm. bringing people together. So this does that as well. Mm -hmm. Multi-states, all these people doing the ambassadorship, running these races, getting others to run mm -hmm. the races. Mm -hmm. Come on, you come in. Yeah. So we get to be really excited all over the place. And then we all come together at mm -hmm. these races. It's again, goes back to with the running that I said that it generates this sense of like community and doing fun things together. Because if you're going to a race, who wants to show up by themselves? Yeah, yeah. You really don't. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to because mm -hmm. there are so many people there. But yeah, we get to spread the joy. Yeah. That is my favorite thing. Okay, and the free interest. I know I said that right. <laughs> but I get to spread the joy over and over and over again mm -hmm. and show up and do the races. And I love the Facebook page that we have as ambassadors yes. because one, People post in there and we get to cheer each other on. I mean, that's just been so fun. Mm -hmm. But then also it's like for Battleship 12K, we're like, okay, roll call. Like, who's going? You know, like, who's, who's doing? doing? And so it's been like, oh, there's our family. You know, it's yeah. like we're another family. And it's just so fun. To, and like you said, like, we're not, we know we're not showing up alone. We know there's friends there that we don't get to see every day. Mm -hmm. And so it's just so fun to be able to get out there and be like, hey, Brandy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and the craziest thing is I was coming to this race, the Battleship 12K, by myself. I was like... I got my race entry covered. I booked a hotel because I was not driving mm -hmm. the morning of. And I'm like, I'm just going to go there and I'm just going to wing it. I'm sure I'll see someone I know. And then now we have the largest turnout of all the ambassadors <laughs> right. at this race. Yeah. I was never going to be alone. Mm -hmm. And then two of my friends and runners came with me today. Aww, so it no. ultimately yeah. turned out to be like, okay, this is so great. It's a family party, family affair. Yeah. And that is how I like to live and also do events, you know, show up with your people. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Mm, speaking of events, what's your favorite race? I think my favorite is, I thought about this because I've done a bunch of races, but I think the North Shore half might be my Ooh, favorite. Ooh, okay. In Manville, Louisiana. That's where I live now. But I love it because I just love running alongside the water, the lakefront. Mandeville is just a really quaint and beautiful place. I know out of all the places I've been running, which... I haven't gone to that many stays, but I've, I have traveled a little bit for running. Mm -hmm. But it's just my favorite. It just gives a homey feel, homey mm -hmm. vibe. The after party is the same vibe. Like mm -hmm. homey, you got a little band and uh, everybody's just sitting on the grass or sitting together. This past one or this one in October, yeah, it just, it was that. That vibe was, oh, I pushed for Ainsley's on that one. But then afterwards, we all sat in a circle and laughed at each other, laughed with each <laughs> other. And, so that I just felt like I was in my backyard. Mm. I love that. And it isn't a campground, so you really mm -hmm. could, you know. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fountain Blue State Park, but I, that is why I like that mm. one. Again, it goes back down to my love for the community vibe and bringing people together, and that one gives me that hug mm. or that mm. homey vibe. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because other races, it, it could get complicated. Yeah. I don't love a race that takes so much thought and energy. By the time you get to the start line, you're like, I am over this. Mm. I'm dead. I don't want to run now. Yeah. This one, you pull up under an oak tree. <laughs> you get out and you go. <laughs> like, with your shoes. That's running is simple. It mm -hmm. should be simple. Sure. Not, well, like all these crazy logistical things that make you anxious mm -hmm. for a run. No, it, no it's not mm -hmm. that. So, yeah. Well, speaking of pre-run, do you have a pre-race routine? Okay. So one of the girls I rode up with here, she is not well on race morning. She is spiraling out with anxiety. Mm. She's like all over the Where do I have my shoes? I'm like, you're wearing them. <laughs> and I have oh. to drive her. Okay. She's like, I can't, I can't, I can't. I got, I'm coming. I'm, I'm, going, I'm on my way. Wow. Like, you have to bring me. I'm freaking out. So that's really funny to watch because I'm like, I am not free. I'm just very... <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, if I don't have that, well, that's going to really suck. That's mm -hmm. what I'm thinking in my mind. Pre-race routine would really just look like I know I'm going to bed early. Mm -hmm. Probably eating something very safe oh. <laughs> because you don't want to wake up and your belly hurt. So keeping it really safe with the food and just relaxing. Maybe I'll go to dinner. Like tonight we're going to mm -hmm. go to dinner. Yeah. yeah. No, tonight. <laughs> yes. So have a good dinner, especially if it's like an event like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go to a family dinner. Louisiana Half Marathon, Ainsley's Angels had a dinner. Mm. We did that. They had some speeches and whatever. So that's really cool. With team and training, we would do that. We would okay. have a family dinner. Mm -hmm. And then the night before, it was probably pasta, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. 
and then it got you excited about the race the next mm. day. And like at the dinners, we talk about like fundraising goals that were met and blah blah, and just inspired you. Sure. By the time you woke up, you were like, "Let's go do the thing we've been training to do." Mm. Um, but no, now I just keep it real simple. <laughs> That's how I do it. I don't really stress about it too much anymore. Unless I'm picking up. If my friend, sorry, Regan, <laughs> who is here with me today, if she is with me, I'm still calm, but I'm like, now she's got me thinking, where are my shoes? <laughs> like, I'm driving with them. They're on my seat. Oh my gosh. She's so out of lab. I'm like, I think I'm going to have to tell this story about you on the podcast. As you said. truly do not do this well. She's like, I don't. <laughs> And then she's like, wait, this race is point to point? This race is point to point? How are we going to get back at that? And she's like going off. I'm like, mm. I think there might be a shuttle. But there might be? Oh, my gosh. So I had to look up the... You're like, no, actually, you walk back. I was like, I don't... <laughs> actually, I was like, I don't even... But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this off. So I just played it off. Don't worry. They ba- got it all figured out. And I knew I had not looked at the website. I knew I did. I didn't know it was point to point mm-hmm. until very last minute. But anyway, so, yep, just keep it simple. I love that. Mm-hmm. What I'm there for. <laughs> Post race, cross the finish line. What does Brittany like to do? Just describe it with what we did at North Shore. I want to know where my friends are. Mm. Uh, I want to sit with you. Maybe, I, again, just think about North Shore. Sit in the grass. I just sat down in the grass. I don't even know if it was wet. I didn't care. I'm like, <laughs> you're gross anyway. No. So <laughs> sit on the grass is fine. Grab a beer. Get close to the music, but you know, enough you could still hear your people. But I know I'm just looking for us to connect again. Mm. Like you meet up in the beginning. Yeah. Take your picture, do whatever, hang out. And then after I went the same thing and we did North Shore Have, we were there till the end. Mm-hmm. Then a group of us were like, we don't want to go home. We went somewhere else to hang out even more. <laughs> it's just that exciting. Mm. Your reward is to finish the race. Mm. That's why you're running the race. And so when you get there, you get to enjoy it together or with everyone mm-hmm. and hear about their... I also like hearing about their race. Yeah. How did it go? Mm-hmm. It was terrible. I threw up. Okay, that sucks. It's like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> or just the ups and downs and laughing. I don't know. It's just that's what I look forward to is mm. connecting with everybody. Yeah. Again. Mm, that's so good. Know. So good. I don't get enough of them, I guess, because I just <laughs> want to hang out. And hear about their day or whatever. Do you, do you bring Helen to North Shore? Well, you know, n- she no, no. Mm. Sorry, no. Helen. Helen. Oh. Yeah, she lives in my car mostly. So um, technically, she's there, right? She she's, is there. She is there. She's just you can't bring dogs here. It's like can't bring styrofoam ice chest. And I have to like run with her. Like where would she go? You could put her on the side. She could be your cheering squad. I know. And she is an ice chest. I could be like, this is my support. <laughs> container. <laughs> we're like, no, I have snacks in here. Oh, and actually, look, okay, let's, since we're back on Helen, let's <laughs> real quick, one more thing. There's probably going to be more. Helen is actually a medical ice chest. Okay. You know when you, mer- I don't know if you ever had medicine shipped to your Okay, door. yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how she started. Okay. Because my medicine for my phones showed up. It shows up in a box with little ice packs. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm going to use this. Yes. If it gets stolen or broken, it's on mm-hmm. the road. So I was like, okay, let me do this. So I, I don't know that I've ever told anybody that. But she did start as a medical. So when you're carrying around, yeah. is there a, like a liver in there? What? <laughs> Why do you have a medical? Really, listen, sh- this is listen. Helen. Listen, this is Helen. The- yeah. She needs her own running merch now, too. She does. We I- need to get a t-shirt that says, I run or I don't. <laughs> or wait, <laughs> where does that the ice chest not Helen? <laughs> Helen? Well, I do have a photo of Helen with a fresh chunky t-shirt on. She, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know those bumper stickers like 0.0? Yes. Just because she is sarcastic. So I think right. just putting that on her mm-hmm. with her name, Helen, 0.0. I think Belfort. it's a great graphic. We should do this. I know. I would wear that. I would wear that too. And I don't even know Helen. Everybody but now knows. she's my best friend. She might be commenting on things. <laughs> she, she doesn't even know. Speaking of Helen, last night I was, you know, you're on your phone, you're just scrolling. I laughed at a post that Helen's handsome Smith, <laughs> and I had to text her on the side, message her on the side. I'm so sorry. I didn't need to laugh at that post. Is it Was it a serious post? I'm so sorry. Again, I just need help with <laughs> social media. I'm all over the place. I'm clicking, liking, laughing. <laughs> I'm someone else. Hey. Sometimes I'm Helen. I, just, I think it's great, Brittany. 
It's, you just keep going. No. It makes life so great. It's so interesting. Yeah, I've had to tell, I think I was telling Caroline Cardinal this morning, I'm like, you don't understand what I just did. I laughed at this post, and then I was messaging on Helen's. She's like, wow, you need an adult. Like, Helen is the adult. A social media adult. <laughs> I try. I'm trying. So besides Helen being your favorite running item, do you have something else that you're like, I cannot go running without? Ten. When I looked at this question, I was thinking... Maybe, obviously, your watch, mm, but really okay. a running buddy. Oh, no, that's good. <laughs> that's my mm -hmm. running item that I have to have. And I'm serious because mm -hmm. probably 1% of the time I'm by myself. If I cannot find someone to run with, I'm likely not. Yeah. So that sounds... No, I'm with you. That's me. I just, I like to talk, keep my pace in check. I like to visit. We've mm -hmm. established that several times here today. <laughs> I like to visit like, oh, tell me about your day, mm -hmm. blah, blah, or whatever. And then also safety, mm -hmm. too. If I run alone, I am looking behind me mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. whole time. What was that? What was that? I don't know why. I yes. just, it's just, I don't know. I just get fearful. Even if it's broad daylight, I still mm -hmm. get, but I'll go to the lake and put myself out in the open if I am by myself, but just mostly my running buddy. And, mm -hmm. and that's how I started running with yeah. people. Mm -hmm. If I want to just run out my front door with my headphones, because some people love to run yeah. alone. And I get it, ish, because I don't get it. But I'm like, that's your thing. My thing is mm -hmm. I was trained with a buddy mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. We always had either a running mentor with you next to you, someone cheering you on. So I was, I guess, hardwired this way now. Mm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I love that because that's totally, and it's been great because one of my best running buddies, Katie, like last week we did six miles. We didn't mean to do six miles. We were only supposed to do three. Yeah. And in the Daphne area, it's hilly. It's so hilly. But there were times where I was like, I just want to quit. But because I had that person with me mm -hmm. and we knew we were like, we have to make it back together. But that was also a great time for us just to catch up. Like during the week, she's busy with kids. During the week, I'm busy. And we got to just be yeah. and just have, we had all kind of conversations, like all over the place. All over the, oh my And it was goodness. fantastic. The so. amount of conversation you yeah. can have while running mm -hmm. and also the content of the conversation oh, yeah. sometimes goes off the rails <laughs> oh oh my goodness <laughs> about the, but yeah it's you never know what's going to happen you never know which way it's going to go what you're going to talk about and then it's funny you say that on this podcast we started at three and then we did six it's like how does <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> <That's not happened. laughs> it's open every time it's like, well, well, we showed up we were gonna exactly they were going to start at two different times, and we're like, let's just go let's ahead and do the sex. sex. Like, it's fine. Yeah. It was not fine, but it's fine. Right. We didn't have Helen. No, you didn't. But this is why runners, I think, are just like, we're just crazy people. Because yeah. Because it's just, we go to do three, and then we do six. That's not yeah. normal. No, it's not. It's not. No. No. And then we complain about it, but then we're like, but that was so great. Oh, I didn't say that at all, Brittany. Not even. Oh. I was like, it's for a great cause. <laughs> <I'll help. laughs> fine. <laughs> it, it was great. <laughs> On some level. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Running shoes. Do you have a favorite pair? Yes. Okay. The Asics Gel Nimbus 25. Ooh, do you like those? Yes. It's mm -hmm. a clown. Oh my okay. God. So, randomly, I got plantar fasciitis in my left foot. I didn't know what that was. I thought I stepped on a Lego. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, because I have two kids. I'm like, that was a Lego. Nope. It was just like a pain in my foot. Mm -hmm. And so I went to see this podiatrist. And he, on his little prescription notepad, which I thought was hilarious, <laughs> wrote the shoe that I should get. Okay. On his little prescription pad, I'm thinking, can I get this reimbursed from insurance? Ah. Ah. Since it is from a doctor. Yeah. For these $200 pair of shoes that yeah. I had to buy. Yeah, and actually I put on a hookah on one foot and the ASIC on the other. And I was like, this is... Wow. Mm -hmm. It was just very supportive, very, very comfortable. And the toe box is wide, mm -hmm. so I felt like my foot was free. And it really... I bought... I actually have four or five pair. I've been the same. I've been eyeing the Nimbus. I've just been eyeing it. I'm like... The 25. Ooh. The 26 I have on. Ooh, look at that. That's fancy. But they're, it's different. It's mm -hmm. not as fluffy. Okay. It's fluffy. <laughs> it's not as fun. It's fluffy and fly like. I mean, it is still amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I'm running in it tomorrow, but yeah. I just love the 25. Okay. Yes. Good to know. Mm -hmm. For your long runs, how do you feel? So before my long run, I like to well, wake up early, and I usually have a big breakfast. I Ooh, get nervous okay. about that. Mm -hmm. What if I'm hungry? What if I'm thirsty? <laughs> I don't know. I have this fear of starving and. 
somewhere on an island, like what island, I don't know. Or like being thirsty. So I'll always have a running belt. Even if I'm running a race with water support, it's just like, I'm going to die of thirst. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> that, 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 you're not. <laughs> so I just wake up early, again, to keep it simple and not mm. rush and be anxious. Mm -hmm. And eat a big breakfast. That might look like, I don't know, English muffin with some peanut butter or something like that. I was joking this morning and said that I eat hamburgers before races. But I have done that before. I have okay. eaten a hamburger mm. in the morning at 5 a.m. I do love hamburgers. Okay, but anyway, that's not typical. <laughs> and that race went great. So I think the burger, you know, really <laughs> did it for me. So I eat a lot of food and then I like uh, honey stinger, okay. the waffles mm -hmm. and the goos. What else? Oh, Element. I like that. Mm -hmm. It was my electrolyte. Mm -hmm. It's the cleanest version I've found. I actually find it to be very hard to drink. It's very salty, mm -hmm. but the benefits, I yeah. feel amazing after. Nice. That's I like it. The hamburger, that one's a new the one. For you know, tell your friends. <laughs> it made kind of great. Uh, <laughs> it was intense. I'm like, am I really eating a hamburger right now? <laughs> Do you? I told you I need an adult. Like, <laughs> stressing social media and please don't eat a hamburger before a run. So, do you have a favorite running memory that, like, it's just your, when you think about running, this memory just gets you? Really, just starting with team and training and how that all unfolded and all those memories in between is really what makes me feel just a lot of joy in that, that journey. And also just the journey of getting here and, again, started my run club that I love so much. Mm -hmm. and, but there was this one funny memory in oh, Disney. Hulk? In Disney, I did the Goofy Challenge. And so oh, Saturday wow. you run a half, and then on Sunday you run a full. Wow. And so okay. on the full run, our friend was with our, no, two of our friends were with me. And at mile 20 or 22, one of them sat down and was like, I'm not going anymore. Oh, wow. Well, oh. I'm like, yes. Yes, you are. We are. We have we, to. We have to. You can't be cool. <laughs> and so I look over, because it's Disney, there's like candy and lollipops for her. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, so I see so this table with some chocolates. And I just grabbed a whole bunch. I'm like, okay, I'm going to give you a candy. Every time we get a new mile, they're like, fine. And then she like peeled herself on the ground. And we walked a mile, ran a mile. We did it here and there. But yeah. I gave her some candy just to get her through. And mm -hmm. she, that to me was just hilarious. I'm like, how am I going to bribe these people to get up off the ground at mile yeah. 20? They were not having it. I think it, was, I think it was either 20 or 22. Either way, a long time yeah. till the finish. We got to go. Wow. No one's coming. No one's <laughs> <what's> coming. <laughs> no one's coming. This is dead. <laughs> no one's coming to get us. Okay, so we'll. We got to go, girls. Oh, man. That's so hilarious. That, that memory is really funny to me, but just, yeah. That's ahead. amazing. Yeah. Do you run with music at all? No. No? Okay. Never have? Uh, no. No? Okay. Not really, no. And there's no boom box next to Helen? Yeah, we we could work on that. <laughs> 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 Helen could be, oh, my gosh. She could be like one of those ice chest radios. Oh, okay. Same so thing you got to leave her in the corner. Someone would say Yeah, that. that's true. Yeah, scratch that. But no. Okay. No, okay. No, no, okay. I love it. Do you have a favorite recovery tool? Just rest, especially after a half. After the half, this past one, the North Shore half, I did paddle boarding. I did yoga. What? Then. Mm. I was just like, what can I do that is not running? So I love running so much that I don't want to hate it. So yeah. I just rest and reset. And I just make sure that I don't hate the sport. That's my goal. Yeah. <laughs> I just rest and reset and do something that is not running. Oh, that's good. Rest yeah. and reset. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. It's going to reestablish my love for it over again because, yeah, after a race, sometimes I want to yeah. do it again. You're no. like, I'm tired. I'm, yeah. I don't want to keep running, but. Rest and reset. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a favorite cross training activity? When I can get to a pool to swim, I do like swimming. Ooh, I okay. That yeah. really helps. Mm -hmm. But no, I just do light weights in between, but I do like running. I found that it really improved my cardio. Mm. But that's good. That be. Okay. No, I like that. I, I definitely believe in the water. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's absolutely and, amazing. And you get off your body. Yeah. You know, yeah. Your joints. So mm -hmm. you just take it easy. And it is a nice switch up. It does get boring, though. It's like, well, I can't talk to my friends and get to the water. <laughs> How am I gonna <laughs> so you get to the end of the pool and they're like, okay, 10 second rest. Like, anyway, no, <laughs> last night. <laughs> and I stuck like, we talk quicker. And so you know, at the end of the lane, you are just speed talking because you're trying to talk to your friend. Gosh, what? Talk too much? Yeah. <laughs> why are we on our rest to be like, so anyway, that for a story that we were telling on the other end of the pool. 
<laughs> that I, is great. I, I, it's kind of, yeah, it's funny. That's so fun. <laughs> but yeah, that's why it gets boring because I'm like, no one's speaking. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> got to work on that. I see. So obviously you've been with the running group that you're leading. When you have somebody new that comes, what is some advice that you give them when they want to start walking, running, moving at all? What is something you tell them? Usually before someone shows up, I always get a message from them. Hey, I've been lurking in the mm -hmm. Facebook. I've been wanting to come, but I'm scared. I'm sure. Like, just, just come. Mm -hmm. So they come. Everybody who walks up to my club, run club, I say hello to you or give a hug, mm -hmm. even if I know you. But if I don't know you and you're new, I am walking up to you and saying, hey, I'm Brittany, what's your name? Mm -hmm. Or if they've already messaged me, like, before I go, I try and remember their name because I have a terrible memory. I'm like, Sarah, 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 <laughs> Sarah, don't get wrong. Me, Sarah's coming. <laughs> and I then read them and I just, I guess I don't really give them any advice. I just hopefully make them feel like, well, I'm on the pace. So do you. Yeah. Go your pace. Do you need someone to walk with you or run with you? Mm -hmm. I will. So it's really not like advice. I don't just like, I mean, who am I? Like, I have Brittany who lives in Mandeville with an ice chest named Helen. He's like, <laughs> I don't know one. Like, I'm just no one, and I'm a slow runner. I take it easy. I'm so, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, no, I'm not just, I just hope that I give them a sense of, wow, I felt really welcome when I came there. Mm -hmm. She made me feel comfortable. Yeah. No one judged me for, oh, I'm walking. Because I'll be like, anybody walking tonight? I am. And I'm walking. Yeah. I'm like, I'll walk. Yeah, I'm walking. Because I feel like the word race mm -hmm. indicates a wreath. Yeah. We're going to run. No, it's an event. Mm -hmm. It's an event. Mm -hmm. Celebrating mm -hmm. the sport and also just getting out there and being healthy together. But I just hope that, yeah, I make them feel comfortable and whatever they're doing is okay. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a seven minute miler. Yeah. Yeah, we have some intense runners. We're not them. <laughs> I'm not them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have a great week. For me. See you in seven minutes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm out there just casually enjoying mm -hmm. the scenery and the lakefront <laughs> and Helen. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's not really advice or verbal advice. It's more just I hope I generate a feeling mm -hmm. inside of them that makes them feel like I can do this. Yeah. Even in the starting walking, or I'm going to run with this person high. Mm -hmm. They're run walking. I'd like to try that. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Yeah. I really, I, lo I love that. I'm and sorry I've modified most of your questions. Well, <laughs> I, I, don't like, well I don't have an item, but I like it. going ourselves and your questions are terrible. Yeah, but no. Nizik, <laughs> 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 never. <laughs> Ned. <laughs> no, but well, I love that because one of the things you brought up, one of the things that I've started doing is rather than saying I have a race this weekend, I say I have a running event to go to. Yes. Because I, like you said, I'm not racing. Like uh, I paid my full entry. Fee. I paid it. I talked I, about that. <laughs> it's free. Depending on what the race is. But I'm out there and like you said, like I'm doing my own thing. Like I'm going my pace. That's great for those that are racing this. So very But I'm not a racer. Like it's not going to happen. I'm not BQing anything, guys. No, like, no. <laughs> So I love that that's your idea, though, is that, and it's one of the things that we say here is that everybody has a place in the running community. And I'm part of this running group that's called Anchored Movement. We took running out of it because we realize mm -hmm. there are some people that, whether it's something that they're unable to do right now, so they need to be yes. on a bicycle or they need to be moving in some other way, we're out there together. No, yeah. great majority of us do run, but we're run walking or we're walking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I love that. Your advice is like, to show up like just you're gonna find up. a buddy you're gonna have somebody with you oh yes exactly I'll, and yeah. i'll be like if you're running late here's my phone number just text me i'll wait mm -hmm. also the safety aspect too but and yeah i guess it leads back to finding Ainsley's too it's like that message is with their organization like inclusive running mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you push the chariots so they get to enjoy the sport mm -hmm. of yeah. running yeah. and walking or the event mm -hmm. as we're calling it the race event or the, not race event, what do you, what do the you running call event. Yeah. Running call event. Running event, yeah. Running event, so really, I guess it all ties into that too. Mm -hmm. Just do what you can. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. And, and, and anybody can do it. Yeah, because yeah. I hear sometimes, oh, my run was okay. I, I, I went really slow, mad about that. And everybody else is fast. It's, don't do that. Right. Think mm -hmm. about what you're doing and you're like, you're, your own competition. Mm -hmm. so. And not mm -hmm. even competition. You just be better than you yesterday or Absolutely. something. Yeah. Now. Mm hmm that's good. Yeah. Besides trying to bribe people with candy to get yeah. to things. Oh, yes. Jeez. What? <laughs> when you want to give up, what is something that you tell yourself? Do you have a mantra? I guess what I've been talking about the whole time, go slow, have fun. Mm -hmm. So go slow, have fun. Yeah. Enjoy okay. the ride, although mm -hmm. it's a run. 
enjoy the ride. <laughs> Thank you for the walk, yeah. but just go slow, have fun. Yeah, mm, I think that's a good one. I might steal that. I just there you go. I, I love it. it. I, wow, and that should be um, written on Helen. Yes, that could be her tattoo. Yes, Rico. Oh wait, <laughs> she has phone tattoos. Yeah, just enjoy the run. Do you have any goals? Yeah, I mean, I think it's to continue to truly just enjoy, with running specifically goals, I think it's just to, to keep it up, keep enjoying it like mm -hmm. I do. Like I said, mm -hmm. rest and reset, because I don't want to hate it. Yeah. I really don't. Mm -hmm. So my running goals are to be able to continue to run, be healthy enough to run, don't get injured. Although one time I had a salad and an olive popped out of it, and I chased it down the hall, and I threw my back out, and I was injured. <laughs> And I'm like, this is how you know my olive. Yes, and it was a black <laughs> olive, which I hate. Well, I just felt bad that it was rolling, and I was running after it, and I bent over to get it, and I threw my back out. And so that was really that injury mm. put me out. <laughs> Two weeks. No, it's not even a real injury. <laughs> Why? So my goals are tread lightly when running after anything. Olives. Um, just walk there and be like, just, just, walk. just let it go. Firstly, <laughs> if it's an all up, all right, but it's fine. Or just wait till it stops. <laughs> you know, so I guess the goal would be to be healthy enough to keep running <laughs> and yeah, don't get injured. And I want to run. This is actually, I was thinking about this the other day. Every single fresh chunky race would be next season. Mm -hmm. Sign up for every single yeah, one. Yeah. Wherever it is. Where is it? I don't know. Ellen, yeah. Where's the next one? So just go there. Mm -hmm. Just say yes and go and sign up. That was totally my goal for this year. And I was so excited because oh. it was I was hitting it. And then we found that North Shore was family weekend for our son. Oh, and no. I was like, no. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm like next year. Mm -hmm. Next 20, okay. 25, 20, that will be my year that I hit every for every Sunday single race one. because mm -hmm. kids will be yes. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Okay, well, that yeah. we can share that goal together. Absolutely. I love that. Yes, yes. Hold each other accountable. I love that. Yes. Yes. Be like, did you sign up? D yes, did. I did you bring Helen? <laughs> yes. I feel if you want me to. I feel like she should be there for so good support. I know, system. wait, we should put candy in it. Cool, just like. Absolutely. I, I love that. Traits. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She can be the fresh junkie mascot. <laughs> Mike would love that. Yes. Mike's like, oh, here we go. Here we go. I want this, Mike. I think this Mike, is what we should do. Mike, we need this. This yes, is a message yes, to do. you, Mike. Yes. Put her in the VIP chat. <laughs> yeah. Let her in. Get her a wristband. Get this woman a wristband. <laughs> and I do dress Helen up. Yeah. I think we should. Yeah. So, well, it's done. I have dressed her for Halloween. She was a turkey once. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Just go check out her Facebook. It's, yeah. I'm, I'm there. I'm telling you. Yeah. What's your favorite length to run, whether it's a training run or a running r event? 5Ks are really nice. Okay. <laughs> They're so short. Uh, but my favorite distance right now is a half. I, okay. I have done three fulls, but I'll, I'll probably never do another full. So 13.1 mm. is about, really, the reality is 10 miler would be good. The Ooh. wheels start to fall off yeah. around 9 or 10, <laughs> and you're like, is this over? <laughs> no, I still have another 5K. Oh, my goodness. Are we done? Yeah. So... <laughs> In a perfect world, maybe 10 miler, which North Shore half does mm -hmm. have, mm -hmm. but no, 13 1-1's my sweet spot. That's good. I'm good with that. I know I can do it, mm -hmm. but yeah. Okay. A right. 10 would be ideal. <laughs> so like, like I said, once I'm ready to be done and I can just be done. Mm -hmm. But then we can know that Helen's at the end with candy. Yes. Got of it. All roads <laughs> leads to Helen. In fact, <laughs> one of the routes that I wrote is called to Helen back. Oh, but um, mm. yeah, there you go. Yes. yes, yeah, it's good. It's good. We got to keep her spirit alive. <laughs> I feel like I haven't talked about her in a while. Well, we did it today. He <laughs> suffered. When you are running, what fuels you? What are you passionate about? Oh gosh, running. <laughs> Thinking about running. <laughs> when am I gonna run next? Wow, that sounds crazy. I don't know. I just. When I'm not running, I really am enjoying my kids, resting. I like to watch shows. I will veg out on a mm -hmm. show. I used to never be like that. I used yeah. to be like, go, 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 go. Now I really just enjoy mm -hmm. me time or slowing down. I like outdoor concerts, really anything outdoor. Mm -hmm. But mostly just, I don't know, relaxing. There you go. Just slowing down. Like you said, I mean, rest and reset. Yeah, rest yeah. and reset yeah. and enjoy whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just being in the moment is mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. I love that. So, any final words of wisdom, my friend? Oh, 
Haven't y'all had enough today? <laughs> Don't chase olives. Because <laughs> you will throw your back out if you're lucky. <laughs> no, I don't know. I guess just to recap today, you know what we talked about? Go slow, have fun. Is that, mm, that, go is slow, that have fun. fun. Yeah. And just you can do it. Yeah. And if you can't, if find you a really. Bu- yeah, just find a friend to walk with. Mm-hmm. I always just say that. But finding a guru, that would help too. Because mm-hmm. that will motivate you to get out there. Mm-hmm. To, then you won't be alone. You won't just because if I run alone, I'm turning around. Yeah, my op. Nope, I don't want to do that. <laughs> if I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. Yeah, but my friends with me, we already committed just <laughs> three miles or six or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all did. So yeah, that's that's it. Brittany, this has been so much fun. Brittany and Helen. Yeah, so much oh, fun. Yeah, she's not even here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, y'all cannot hear him, but Allison's husband has been giggling over there this whole time. Just at this ridiculous conversation. It's okay. fantastic. I know. I, why didn't I bring her? I, she I was so the, disappointed. Is she in your car right now? She is in my car, but it's not here. Um, I okay. bring her someone, but... Mm. Uh, Maybe next time, Helen. Yeah, Helen. Sorry. Helen, so next time, time we are getting a selfie together. <laughs> That's <laughs> my goal in life now oh, is to get a selfie God. with Helen. Oh, my God. I can't believe how much we talked about her today. I think it's fantastic. I know. <laughs> I didn't know where this was going. That's been, that, so I did type out my responses because she told me to. I did my homework. But I'm like, I do so much better just winging it. And this I think you did great. Organically crazy <laughs> I'd what well, better funny and crazy <laughs> yeah what better way and this was pretty much how our conversation went at louisiana yeah like, bouncing <laughs> back and forth we had laughing. tea cake we had treats we did we were looking at the free shirts and i'm like that's right Can I, I did sign up for that <laughs> <laughs> i would i said thing about that shirt it said will run, run for king cake yeah and i'm like yeah, which i'm <laughs> gonna do this year yeah, well, Man. 2025, I guess. Yeah, Man, we yeah. missed it. Like, that. I wanted that yeah. shirt, and I thought about that shirt after. Well, we could be there at Louisiana again. It could happen. Okay, let's do that. Let's yeah. do that. Yes. We'll be there. The banter is real here, <laughs> and it's fun. And it's easy. The truth is her head right here. Yes. Brittany and Helen, thank you so much. I love you back. Thank you. Was that not so much fun? Ah, oh, it was so good. Thank you, Brittany and Helen, for sharing your story, for sharing your heart, and just for who you are, Brittany. You are such a light in this world. I'm so thankful to know you, so thankful for your heart, and that you just kept going, even with Angel's Angels. I'm so grateful for all that you're doing and for who you are. And again, just the love that you have for running. Because I love how she said, I don't want to hate running. I don't want to hate it. And that is so good. And, you know, because we show up for our community, because we show up for our people. And so we want to keep that going. We want to keep that fresh and fun. And we don't want to burn out. And we we all know how easy it can be. No matter what sport you're doing, no matter what your goal is, it's easy to get burned out. And so to have that community, to have Wednesdays, it's like the fun day. That's incredible and it's so fun and Brittany what you're doing what your Wednesday run club is doing is phenomenal and I just love you guys my goal is to one day make it out there one day one day so we'll see but again so grateful for you Brittany and your heart and just the running community that you've created the movement community you've created just keep going my friend you're doing extraordinary things and again huge shout out to our podcast partner of the month that is fresh junkie racing guys definitely go check them out they do so much for the community both on the economy side but also for nonprofits and just an all-around great group of people i look forward to seeing them at races from Haley and caroline and mike and just the whole gang they are just so much fun the hogs are the best and I'm incredibly grateful to know them and just the heart that they have for running. And they do, they wanna put on excellent running events and they try really hard to do all that they can for everyone. And I try to remind them it's not feasible. You don't have to be perfect, it's okay. (laughs) But they try to bring the best experience to us runners and I appreciate that so much. And it's not easy putting on a race. It's not, especially the magnitude that these guys do it at. So huge shout out. And again, congratulations on an outstanding Battleship 12K. Can't wait to see you guys at Mississippi Gulf Coast. Can't wait to see you guys at Louisiana, Monte Girl Mamba, War Eagle Fest, Tuscaloosa, and possibly the surprise one that you guys are going to be sharing here soon. So I am pumped. I'm so excited. And I cannot wait to see what else you guys do at Fresh Junkie Racing. Keep it up. You guys are doing amazing. And thank you, Mike, for allowing us to have an opportunity 
sit down and to share our stories. It's so much fun. And for creating the Fresh Junkie Ambassador Program to where we meet others, where we get to connect, where, as Brittany shares, we're from all over the South. And so to have that time where we're together and to have that time where we finally get to see each other, it's just so fun. And I'm truly grateful for that. And again, can't wait to see all my fresh junkie peeps at Mississippi Gulf Coast, Louisiana, and as I mentioned, all the other races. It's going to be so much fun. So really, really excited. Thank you again, Fresh Junkie, for believing in the running community, believing in runner's story, and being the coolest cheerleaders ever and putting on the events that you do. Keep going. You guys are amazing. And as always, Greg Gilliard from Gilliard Tech Service says, he actually was in this podcast as Brittany shares, and he had so much fun. And I'm so grateful that he loves to hear the stories and that he does the editing. And we had to hurry and do this one because we're actually at the running event as this podcast comes out. So there was a lot that has to take place. And Gray does such a great job in doing that. And guys, check him out for all your website needs. He does so much for Runner Story, but he can do so much for your business as well. From creating a brand new one or updating the existing one, he is your go-to and he has done an outstanding job. And I'm so grateful to have him on the team. So definitely check him out. If you haven't checked out Dave's latest blog, definitely go do that as well. And we're just so grateful. We're so grateful for this opportunity. We're so grateful for our Patreon supporters. We love you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Keep going, keep doing what you're doing. And I just absolutely love you. And to all of our listeners, thank you for believing in Runner's Story. Thank you for making this your podcast. And we hope that you are inspired. We hope that you are like, you know what? I want to be on that podcast. I want to go do something because we truly believe that every story needs to be heard. And it's as Brittany said, you're not just walking. You're not just moving. We need to get rid of that word just. And we say, you know what? Yeah, I walked that. Yeah, I ran that. Yeah, I biked that. Yeah, I swam that. Whatever it is. We are celebrating you. And so we are so grateful for movement. We're so grateful for what we're able to do with our bodies. And we're so grateful for stories that we're able to share to inspire one another. So guys, until next time, go run your story because every story needs to be heard.